Hi everybody, so today I'm going to be talking about my schooling experience in South Jordan, Utah. Wow, okay, so I went to Bingham High School, which is a ginormous high school in um, the suburb of South Jordan. Uh, so there is around 2,700 students currently. Um, I'm sure there was around that same number when I went to school. I graduated in 2015, so it's been a few years. Um, and at my school, it is 82% white people, um, so leaving 18% for minorities. That's how the school described it. It wasn't even um, separated into categories of black, Hispanic, Native American, or whatever. It was just minorities. Um, on top of that, it was 12% um, lived in poverty, which again, they didn't explicitly say that. They said, like there was an asterisk by it and it said, qualify for free or reduced lunch. So, you know, as far as the demographics go, that's what that was. Um, I was obviously part of the 18% of non-white students. And being that was really just different for me because I came from a school in LA where everybody there looked like me, everybody there spoke my same language, I could speak Spanish with whoever I wanted to, um, I was able to relate to them culturally because I feel like every Mexican or for that matter every Latin American family has this sort of like connection where they're supposed to raise all of their kids the same exact way in the sense that like everyone knows what la chancla is and Everyone knows that if you wake up on Saturday morning to really loud Mexican music that meant you have to clean and It's just all of these things that I could totally relate to with my friends in That area of the country whereas when I came here when I would You know try and speak Spanish or you know I even came I had a little bit of an accent because I spoke Spanish so much over there that people would look at me like you know how when you talk to your dog and you're like talking actually seriously to your dog and they just kind of cock their head and like Whoa? yeah it was kind of like that for the first few years that I was here because I guess they just didn't understand um, what it was like to know someone that wasn't white wasn't raised in an all English household or you know something like that and I just thought that was shocking to me because honestly that's I feel like that is so common in a lot of areas but I guess not in Utah and now that I've lived here for a while it's very obvious that it's not common at all in Utah so as far as um, my schooling I had a couple of concurrent enrollment classes because I didn't really like to apply myself now I'm regretting it because you know college is expensive and it was like what ten dollars a credit to take concurrent and AP classes in high school and now yeah I mean they offered all of that they offered great um, classes because we were really close to the community college so it would just be through those uh, the same way the schools here do it through SUU we did it through Salt Lake Community College so that was really nice um, there were a lot of extracurricular classes but I really just absorbed myself with the orchestra and the music program because that's what I really like to do. And so I was part of three orchestras, two of which were out of school. And I thought that was incredible. It was such a fun experience to um, be able to be in, you know, something that wasn't school, but still kind of like school because my teachers were there, but it wasn't in school, it was out of school. Um, you know, and I never really felt as though I was excluded because of my race or my ethnicity. Um, if I ever felt excluded, it would have been because, well, not really excluded either, just set apart from the majority was because of either my religion or my sexual orientation because it was just, you know, those two things are a lot more, they're a lot different than what people usually see here in Utah because you know you see a lot of people from other races and you see that in your church too but what you don't see is people that are out as part of the LGBT community or 
um, people that are not your religion because it's so heavily populated um, I just felt like a lot of the times I would be kind of left out of any activities that would be going on that were like religion oriented or you know one time in um, my orchestra class we were talking about tour and we were going to San Francisco and so as many of you should probably know San Francisco is really well known for their high populations of LGBTQIA plus people um, and so we were talking and my director he says to everyone um, you know what you might see some gay or lesbian couples and just try to ignore it try not to think any of it and I was just like what are you on like and I get that because it's so heavily populated with LDS people that someone would be like I don't know what's happening I'm scared I don't know why he thought it would be a good idea to just say it but he also said it in a way that implied everybody in the class was heterosexual and I also was just like that's really strange but okay I don't know why you felt the need to say that because it I mean it shouldn't be something that you need to um, disclose before we go anywhere making that dynamic so that it's very even throughout the entire class is something really important. So as far as my future classrooms go, I wanna make sure that I don't explicitly call out any of my students. I wanna make sure that they're all viewed in their eyes as well as mine as the same on every level, regardless of gender, sexual orientation, religion, race, it doesn't matter. And I want them to view each other on that same level that I view them because without that, equality between the individual students, you can't have that harmony with the entire class. And most importantly, I just want to make sure that my students all feel welcome in their own classroom because it's their classroom just as much as it will be mine. And making sure that they know that on the first day of school and that they are free to express themselves in any way is the most important thing that I want to get across to my students. So yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Not that you really had a choice or anything. Bye.